Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to create traveling map. Let's get started. First create new composition. I will give the name for this. Traveling map. Here, preset I will select width to 1920 pixel. And height to 1080 pixel. Now drag and drop this map. And set the scale frame properly. For scale hit S key button. I'm closing this. Now I will create path here. From this point, Las Vegas to Dodge City. For path hit G button. Or select this pen icon. Let's create path for this. Click on this arrow button. Then select Trim Paths. Let's set N to 0%. I'm giving the keyframe. At the starting point of this shape layer 1, which is the path. Move around 10 seconds. And set the N to 100%. Let's move this keyframe at 8 seconds. Now select this keyframes. Then make it easy ease. Then change the graph angle. By clicking on this graph icon. Let's keep this path smooth, for which I have to hit G for pen tool. Then hold Alt key. Then make the changes like this. For this shape layer 1, let's add the drop effect. Apply this effect for this shape layer 1. You can see here. Shadow effect now. Let's make some changes here. Softness I will set it to 5%. To make more attractive, I will add the place icon. Create new composition, let's name it as a circle. Width I will change it for 1080 pixel. Now click on this icon. Then select ellipse tool. Then create circle. To perfect circle, hold Ctrl and Alt button simultaneously. Align it to center. On the stroke and choose white color for this. On fill color. 
for this select white color too. Let's off this stroke. I don't need this now. Let's rename this stroke layer as a circle one. Now duplicate this layer. Hold Ctrl and press D for duplicate the layer. This layer I will use it as a stroke one. Now off this fill color. And on this stroke color. Color for this I will select red. Stroke set it to 45 pixel. For stroke, I will add drop shadow effect, so that gives better look. Softness I will keep it to 5%. Now drag and drop the circle composition into our timeline. Let's animate this circle and stroke layer. Select this both layer. Hit S for splay and at the start of the frame, give the keyframe. And move one second. And again give keyframe. First keyframe I will set it to zero. Select this keyframes and make it to easy ease and make some changes in speed graph. This looks smooth animation now. Now duplicate this stroke layer. Hit you by selecting this layer so that our keyframe should appear. Second keyframe I will increase its scale. Around 150%. By holding shift press T for opacity, give keyframe here. Then to first keyframe. Here I will change its opacity to 0%. Let's easy ease it. And make change in speed graph. If you want you can do it. Or else let it be. Move this circle composition at the top of the layer. Let's resize its scale size to 20%. Fix it at this point. Instead of empty of this circle, let's add picture of the place located. Drag and drop this picture over here. Let's duplicate this circle layer. Move this picture. Top of this duplicated circle layer. In track map, select the circle 2 layer. Let's resize it and set its position properly. It looks or path animates delay. I want to animate this. As soon as circle animation finishes. I want this path layer to animate. So I'm making some changes in graph speed.
This is fine. Now, duplicate this circle composition and move this circle here. Fix this point properly. Go to project. Now duplicate this circle composition. Double click on this composition. Select this picture layer. And replace the picture. By holding Alt key. Let's fix its scale and position properly. Hit P for position. And by holding Shift key hit S for scale. Now select this circle layer. Go to project panel. Here select circle 2 composition. Hold alt key then re with this layer. Here you can see the changes. Now add the curve. To give some color effect. Something like this. Now select all these layers and pre-compose it. I am giving it name as a camera. Click left button in your mouse, then select camera layer. Firstly, let me convert this into 3D layer as well as give the motion blur effect. That gives better look to our composition. Let's bend our camera animation with the help of Dolly tool. Let's zoom it like this. Now, click on this arrow mark at the start of frame. Give the key for all these parameters and make some changes. Again around 4 seconds make some changes. Then again around 8 seconds make some changes. Let's move this circle 2 layer at the 8 seconds. Looks good to me. I hope this video is more help to you. Please like the video and please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get the notification of my new video. Thank you for watching video. Have a nice day.